This video is uh, the first in the series on heat transfer and it's about heat transfer in solids and this is what we call conduction so after this you really need to be able to explain how the transfer of, of heat energy through, through a solid by conduction involves the vibrations of particles and you need to know that different metals transfer heat at different rates which you probably did as a practical in the lesson as well. So what is conduction? Heat travels through solids by conduction. Metals are very good conductors of heat and non-metals are not as good. Some are better than others but generally we say they are poorer conductors than metals. Now Now, you may have seen in lesson a demonstration. This was a demonstration. It was a cylinder that one end was wood and one end was metal. And we rolled some paper around it. And if you put it over a Bunsen burner, then you should have noticed that the metal side didn't burn or char as much as the wooden side. And this was because that the metal was conducting the heat away from the flame and away from the paper. So the wooden side, because it's a non-metal, it's more of an insulator, the heat was left on the paper, if you like. Uh, so the paper possibly set on fire or maybe just went black and charry whereas the metal the paper survived quite well and this is all to do with the fact that metals are really good conductor and wood isn't let's just go back to year seven in some ways and talk about what we mean by conduction in in terms of the particles now in year seven you call them particles but in year nine you need to be con calling them atoms uh, these are the atoms in a solid you can see they're all packed together uh, in a liquid they are moving around a little bit not as much but there's still some bonds between them and in a gas the bonds are very weak and they're moving around very fast so the bonds in a solid are quite strong and all all that these particles really do is vibrate in a liquid they flow they move around more freely and in a gas they move very freely very very fast so the reasons that solid are good at con uh, good at conducting is because the particles are really close together so they can transfer energy between them as they vibrate and this is what happens during conduction vibrating particles pass along the heat energy so if you heat something at one end uh, a large a long metal bar or a long bar if you heat something at one end the heat is transferred down the bar because all the particles uh, tightly packed together they're next door to each other they vibrate and they pass the vibrations along in your lesson you may have stood in a long line or that the teacher may have put a load of pupils in a long line and got the one on the end to move and you should have seen that that movement gets passed along to the people next to the students next to them because they're all touching so conduction is a method of heat transfer in solids but not liquids and gases that the reason for that is because the, in a liquid and a gas the particles aren't as regularly next door to each other so the vibrations won't get passed along uh, we need to think about what type of solids are best conductors we, we mentioned this at the start that metals are really good if we look at a non-metal this would be how a non-metal works if we heat it. This is say a Bunsen burn on the end of a, a non-metal rod, a graphite rod. And you can see uh, we've enlarged our view of the atoms. And here they are, they're starting to vibrate or the particles are vibrating and it passes along the bar. So they start off not moving and then eventually the whole lot are moving. So you can see how the heat is passed along. Now in a metal something else happens as well and you, you may have talked about this in lesson that as well as the particles vibrating you've got free electrons you might have started to look at this in chemistry and those free electrons are free to move between atoms and these free electrons because they're moving they can sort of carry the heat energy they carry the energy so when a metal is heated the free electrons gain kinetic energy this means that the free electrons move faster and transfer the energy through the metal so as well as the particles vibrating uh, metals are really good at conducting heat because they've got these free electrons as well uh, could you explain these why if you've got a teapot at home why is the handle wood and the top of the lid why would that be wood and why the base would be metal your answer if this was an exam question needs to talk about that wood is a good insulator it doesn't allow heat to transfer through it as well as metals so these are the parts of the saucepan that you touch so you don't want them to get hot the metal base 
uh, you do want to get hot because that's where the flame will be uh, heating up and you want your food inside the saucepan to get nice and hot so you want the metal in the saucepan to conduct the heat as well as possible through the saucepan to heat up your food. Uh, this is quite a, a little bit harder, which feels warmer to sit on. If you've got a wooden bench in the snow or a metal bench in the snow, uh, you may think automatically, well, I'm going to choose the wooden bench. Well, why is that? Well, if you think about wood, wood doesn't conduct heat, whereas metal does conduct heat really well. So if you sort of sit with your bottom on the seat, then all the heat from your bum is going to go into the metal quite easily that the metal will conduct the heat away from your body away from your bum that's on it whereas the wood because it's an insulator the wood will not conduct the heat as well as the metal so the wood will feel warmer because the heat will stay inside your body uh, the heat will stop in your bum and not be transferred to the bench